Hey y'all, welcome back to the ranch. I'm Jared Paul and today we're going to tackle some maples starting with some trident maples and finishing with some Japanese maples. So that's what's coming up on today's episode of Jarhead Bonsai. All right y'all, so did my best to get the camera in a good spot where I could just kind of go on through. So this is my Japanese maple, Japanese maple, Japanese maples. About 70 here. Uh, and this year my plan was to separate them in some way um, so that they end up not letting the roots grow together but I pretty much missed my window again and that's okay. I didn't get to prune these last year. Uh, so these little babies, these are two, three years old. You know how slow they grow. So just the taller ones, I'm just taking out some inches on the singular trunk. And last one. I've had some, like the other two, um, that I haven't touched since I got them because they're so slow growing. So we'll see what this does this year and then uh, maybe next year I'll repot them. Or maybe I put the whole lot of them for sale at the farmer's market and someone wants them all, who knows. Either I get enjoyment out of this or enjoyment out of getting somebody else started on the right track with their trees. Hopefully there'll be some side money too. His daddy needs some pots. I'm not really pruning them as if they're a forest, just coincidentally, you know, I would be pruning it back so none of them are really touching anyways. Some of the weaker ones, you just nip that top tip. Boom, boom. Fast and furious. Oh, this one's nice. It's a nice little branching. Tips off that top. Boom, boom. All right. Cool. So, let's see if you can see that first Japanese one over here. All right. So, you see it to your right. Let's move a little bit this way. So see this is it I just it was grafted here I don't know onto what green trunk some variety and I've just let it grow obviously it's gonna be some sort of topiary style with a long thin trunk haven't had any success with anything budding back but that's probably because it's not a Japanese maple trunk so with this one like this is an easy guy growing straight up obviously I want that classic weeping Japanese maple, especially of this style. This thing's reaching out too far. Right there. That branch. Branch coming out of the crotch. Here, we're about a couple of buds in the same area. Yes, we are having mid to high 80s today and tomorrow in Fahrenheit, which is probably record setting for this time of year here in Connecticut. Take this one out, it's growing straight up. I think this is going to have a natural weep to it, so I'm going to leave this. Uh, and this one has the chance to weep as well, so we'll let that one grow out. Alright, cool. Moving right along, we'll go to the last Japanese maple. You can see that it's on the left side there. I'm trying to match those two up, so with the slow growth, that's relatively easy. Taking out some dead tips. This one's growing straight up and in, out, straight up. Got 
this one coming out sideways, a new one. We'll let that go. A couple of buds going straight up there. Take the top one out here. And then aiming upwards. take the whole tip of this branch. Uh, I'm going to take the top of it actually. There's one right below it. And all the ones, the buds on that branch seem to want to grow up and this one are weeping naturally. So since they do develop so slowly, I don't want to mess with growing any branches that I don't want. I'm just taking full things out here and nipping tips on uh, branches I like go much further back on a faster growing tree. So on this one, I don't want it to look too bald all year. All right, cool. So that is that. Now, if you didn't catch the treachery video about my trident maples. So old Mousy got them this winter. This is this one's barely scratched up, so that one's budding out. These have buds, so normally I would prune them all to the same height, and typically, you know, I would at least prune this one budding out. But I'm just gonna leave them to match. My buddy says that uh, probably they'll bud out some leaves and they won't be able to survive the rest of the seasons and die. So in that case, I'll remove the two dead ones and prune that guy up. Similarly here, I have pruned that one end of the season. I pruned a couple ends of the season just to kind of test it out. And they both got jacked. So don't have to touch those. And then final planting of three, same thing. And this one was a planting of three, took a whole tree, sculled the bottom. This one's the least bothered so I might end up with just this one and this one end of this year um, but hopefully I have a um, hopefully they come back but luckily I have a full-sized one that barely got eaten by the mouse and it's gonna be its first pruning so let's go uh, down here set up the camera again it's that big boy in the big pot stand by Figured I'd give you a little bit of a close-up on the Japanese maples that I just pruned. You see budding out nice. And then my little baby's down underneath. Some greenish trunks, some reddish trunks. Tons of these. There's some that I've that have really caught my eye, like this one of course the mouse had to take a chunk out of it but it's still looking pretty healthy love that one and the other Japanese maple now this is Acer palmatum dissectum the crimson queen not sure what your standard one is but that's why I try to keep these tags because who the hell can remember all that So taking a look at it, 100% sure why the Trident Maple is popular in the bonsai community, not just because of Peter Chan. <laughs> but this is five years from a bare root, where it was a one-year bare rooted tree. <clears throat> so, I don't know, 2018-ish, got it? untouched all this fine branching small leaves already perfect for a garden tree so it's going to get its first little haircut today all right let's do this thing so i'm not going to remove these lower branches because i got a slight taper going on i want to continue it so i'll let the growth remain down there as soon as it hits this divide, I'm going to take some stuff out. So, just uh, nipping these little ones. 
Probably rub them off. Yep. That's faster. Basically going up to my main trunk line where it divides up here, taking all those out. More interior little buds, rubbing or cutting, depending on how developed it is. If it's a small branch, you just gotta nip it. Small bud, rub it out. Again, interior branch here. Well, it's an exterior branch, but it's growing back towards the trunk. This one's coming up and banging it to get it to the side. So I'm just gonna take that out actually. And then again, this is hitting. So let's take this one down so that it's not bothering the other trunk line, both for the visual and, I mean, if it's gonna grow from there, I don't want it anyway, so what's the point? Got some branches around here that look good. And then this top here, take it back. It divides here into two nice little branches, so that looks nice. This one, it's too close to where it divides, so that could create a bulge right here, and I don't want that. Cool. Just going around, nipping here. The longer ones. I'd like the top height to be my eye level when in the pot and then it would grow out above my head during the season or if it was planted in a garden similarly about the same height. So crisscross some branches there, nip these back. the top still get the top the highest I'll go ahead and be more selective with the branches after I create my height here I usually start at the bottom get all the unnecessary stuff out of the way because that's usually the quickest and I go across the top and then I take a look at the branches unless I've been looking at a branch for months and I hate it and I know I want it out a little more. Just tighten it up a little bit. Alright. Give the other view. that I nipped all the tips at least the tip tip any branches I'm keeping it's a little congested in here so I'm just gonna remove the smaller branches you already have your apex up here you don't want buds growing in at the base of them and my, uh, I should just have this disclaimer at the beginning. I'm not an expert, year five, and all trial and error, so I would do more research. I wouldn't just follow mine. And if you're making comments, please remember that I am amateur. Don't claim to be much more, so this is a lot of fun for me. If you don't enjoy it, I'm sorry. Maybe it's not the channel for you. Broskies and broskies out there that have been supporting me with great comments and help through the years. Thank you very much. I absolutely love it. Learned a ton from you. Matt Brennan, 
Ian at Back Garden Bonsai, Girl Sue, and plenty more out there. I got Jarhead Brain and I'm pruning, so I can't think of all of you out there, but it's appreciated, my friend. Cool, a little branch growing inside here, inside, and inside. Easy. Alright, I think this is the only one that I haven't touched. That's because I don't like it in the beginning, and then it starts to come up. Uh, but I think I'm just going to take it out. If it starts ugly, I'll never like it, you know. A little more thinning up here. back against the other one and this one unnecessary 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 boom so it comes up and goes out we'll take it down to where it divides let's finish thinning over here Man, what a bummer with the mouse. In previous years, I would have been so bent out of shape about it, but I swear, when you got kids and just regular life and bonsai is your fun, it's like, I wasn't gonna let it just totally throw me off. So if they survive, they survive. If they don't, it's another lesson learned. Plenty of insects have gotten my trees before and also user error. So I'd say I've killed as many trees if not more than that mouse, so it is what it is. Next year, I will definitely not have the buffet open for Mickey. top and out the dead wood any cross branching raise the canopy a bit rubbed out buds that we didn't want and we have an overall height and canopy to the tree that, this one sweet I'm done. I see another branch that needs some love. Perfect. It actually works there. Take you out. Oh man, that's not a one-hand turn. This is probably a five gallon bucket. It's got nice handles on it, but I love this one. It's a tiny bit of eating from the mouse, but not much. <laughs> All right, I'm done, I'm done. I'm done. All right, so final turn. I like this to the right. Boom, boom. All right, you see much less cluttered now. Hey, Carl. Just a little bit from that mouse, so that one should be all right. All right, y'all, so that's going to do it for today's episode of Jarhead Bonsai. Fast and, fu Fast and Furious, getting uh, ready for spring here. Everything's budding out this week with the extreme temperatures so just trying to stay ahead of the game lots of videos and uh, hopefully enjoy them so if you do 
Please like and subscribe if you like Carl. Uh, that makes part of you one. <laughs> so I'm Jared Paul, and from my family to yours, cheers.